Hi, I'm John Lockwood for Crafts 2, and this is another technique video showing you how to use the brand new Kaleido machine, the all-in-one die cutting, foiling and technique machine from Crafts 2. And this time, what I want to show you is how to use all of the scraps or little pieces that you've got left of your foil to actually go onto a collage or to go onto a stamp and give you lots of different colours. So what I'm going to use is I've got a plain piece again. All I'm using is sort of plain stamping card nothing special it's not a special sort of heat activated card or anything and i'm going to use my butterfly collage stamp and die set i'm just going to use the stamp for this one so i'm just going to put the stamp down as i would do normally in my press to impress from crafts 2 and i'm going to take my kaleido ink pad now if you kaleido ink pad you can just check it i'm going to put a little bit on yeah if it's dried up a little bit just take a little bit more of the Kaleido ink, put it onto the pad and reactivate it. That's why we made them separately. So all you do again, because we're using the Kaleido ink, we just rub it over the pad to start with, or over the stamp to start with, just to activate the stamp and sort of get it working. And then we ink the stamp as normal, as we would do normally, using the sort of cha-cha-cha of tapping motions. We don't want to scrub the ink in, but we want to give it that first coating and then ink it as normal. So make sure you put your lid back on as it does evaporate the ink. And then we just want to turn that over and stamp it as normal. This is quite a large stamp. So I'm just making sure it's connected everywhere. And one of the things you may find with the Kaleido ink, although it's not sticky, with a larger stamp, it can sometimes pull the paper up with it. Don't worry if it does, let it go over to the other side and press it down. But you can see there, I've got everything stamped through clearly and crisply. No problems at all. If it didn't, I'd put it back on and stamp it again. OK, so I just want to give that a minute. Just to make sure that the ink keys into the paper. And what I'm going to do now is bring in my scrap box. So this has got all the little bits of scraps that I've used and really nice pieces and things. So take your stamped image and take your plates and again you want to get the right plate combination so we're going to use our base plate our five mil plate and our nice sort of clean plate that we use for foiling we're going to pop our stamp down and all we're going to do then is take the scraps and almost i'm almost going to patchwork it so i just want to make sure that i'm covering all of the areas of the stamped image so just going through, here's a lovely little bit of green. So let's have a little bit of green there. Showing what else, oh, there's some nice blue there as well. So these are just literally scraps coming from my scrap box. Obviously, if they've got areas that have had the foil taken off, for example, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's been a little bit of a pattern taken off that image. So if I put that on, it will miss in those areas. You can't put foil where there isn't foil. And it doesn't matter if the foil crosses, makes no difference at all. So then we'll go with a little bit of blue there. And shall we bring a, a little bit of red in? Ooh, that's quite nice, actually. Okay, we'll have a little bit of red there. And just to balance it out, have I got a little bit more red in here? Probably, I've got every colour going in here somewhere. There we go. We use these scraps, okay. And we place that on. Now, obviously, if we run this through our machine, there's so many chances that that's going to get moved and that those bits of foil are going to flick up or go onto our rollers, which we don't want. So what we do is a simple use, simple piece of baking parchment. OK, it's just standard baking parchment. And all I'm going to do is roughly cut a piece to the right size. There we go. Just like that on top okay really simple and then we take i'm going to bring our machine in again okay so you can see i take my plates to it and i simply turn the handle again slowly just make sure i've got it put in properly turn my handle slowly just to allow the heat to work through remember we're using a piece of baking parchment as well so we take that through, okay, 
we come off, move our machine out of the way, and then we can start to remove. So there, that's in blue. Here, we've got gold, oh, and there's red. There's green, there's red, there's gold, there's blue. So we've got there a beautiful sort of kaleidoscope from our Kaleido machine. Gives you a beautiful finish. And the great thing about the ink is, certainly when you're using scraps, you may see that there's little areas that perhaps don't pick it up. But because the, because the actual ink is black, you don't notice it. You still get an absolutely beautiful finish. Okay, again, if I wanted to on this, I could take the matching die and I simply look through the matching die on this so that I see all of the butterflies through. Again, put it down. I'm just going to tape this down to my card. Okay, and then move that so that I've got the sandwich of the base plate, the five mil plate, my card and my die to cut down and my clean plate on top. We'll bring the Kaleido back in again and I just run that through on that sandwich to die cut it. So run it through as you would do normally. Take that plate off and we will then have, when I remove the die, I just love the colours and the beauty of it. We've got then individual die cut Harlequin or Kaleidoscope foiled butterflies and we still have our background so we'll pull oh that's beautiful half red half green you couldn't plan that but you can see there we've got all those butterflies and we still have of course our backing with our beautiful pattern on so really simple to use up all of your scraps and get them placed onto a top of a stamped image to give you a lovely different effect. <laughs>